Preliminary analysis led me to believe that this was the result of direct modifications made to a pre-existing human host. Prisoners, or perhaps even unwitting volunteers. See your local Advent recruiter today. The distinctive alien artifact we recovered from the field resembles a portal or gateway of some kind. Although we believe it provides the aliens with a means of long-distance travel, potentially beyond the confines of our world itself, it will take time before we can truly understand the gateway's function. Now that we have recovered one of Dr. Valen's test subjects, I can begin an autopsy on the specimen as soon as you give the order, Commander. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to XCOM 2! So we succeeded in uh, taking down the Codex coordinates. Uh, we found ourselves a psionic gate and, of course, another Codex brain. Uh, the Archon King corpse is now also in our possession and a bunch of other corpse corpses as well. Very good. And there we go. Yeah, we can do the autopsy on the Archon King. Based on what your team witnessed in the field, Commander, it is clear this psionic gateway provides the aliens with some means of far-off travel. It will be up to you to determine not only how it functions, but exactly where this gateway leads. Very, very true. Okay, so we've got uh, 225 supplies as well as the reduced avatar progress. Uh, we didn't need that at that moment in time, but hey, New every little bit helps. Added. Examine the psionic gate. In right. order to analyze the alien psionic gateway we recovered, we will need to make the appropriate modifications to the shadow chamber first, Commander. All right, so we got a new mission for that. Uh, so yeah, we've got fortress training coming up soon, and we've also got stasis training coming up soon. Uh, we're working on the stasis suit, the rage suit. Uh, we're building another spark, and we're also working on the race suit. We got a lot of things going on down there. Excellente. Um, which also means I think right now, do we have? We don't have anything going on. Uh, recover oh no, we have the stasis suit right going on in here, so we can't do any research over here because we got that going on. Um, how are we doing for supplies? Two hundred and forty-three. What were we working on out here? Was there still a supply drop? That oh yeah, that's right. The alien brought this down by two. Not intend for this artifact to be found, Commander. Its loss will no doubt be a significant blow to their efforts. Five days remaining on this. Four days remaining on that. Um, we probably should be working on making connections in more places as well. This is Intel. Uh, we want to build, so if we build this, then this will be cheaper to get, which will connect that up. Um, we'll also be able to get this. Uh, so let's let's start with that because we have 18 days. Uh, we we do want more cashola when we get our supply drop, right? But Intel is probably something we should be worried about as well. That's five days. What is this one? Facility lead. Okay, let's start with the Intel and then Avenger let's go down and uh, finish the finish that uh, finish this continent off. All right. Ooh, yes. Cool Will P has finished his training on Fortress. All right. What can he do next? Uh, uh, yeah, so transfer half of the damage done back to the Psy operative. Uh, the Psy operative is surrounded by an aura that immediately extinguishes or blocks any mental impairments. That would be pretty cool too, right? Because if somebody gets mind controlled, basically all you have to do is run him up beside them and then that goes away. Um, and I think it's not just that though, right? It's any impairment. So if they're disoriented and all, all that kind of stuff. Uh, fuse, if an enemy is carrying explosives, they can be remotely detonated by the Psy operative. Uh, that sounds fun. Let's do that. Let's go back out, finish some more of this. Boom. Oh, we finished the stasis suit. We found the commander in. On the surface, yes. But in function. Ah, commander, excellent. We can begin. It is no secret that Advent soldiers possess both human and alien genetic characteristics. Preliminary analysis led me to believe that this was the result of direct modifications made to a pre-existing human host. Prisoners, or perhaps even unwitting volunteers. See your local Advent recruiter today. <laughs> However, the reality is something else entirely. The Advent troopers at the facility we discovered, including the specimen before you, 
were manufactured. Each soldier possesses a unique genetic code, predominantly human, of course, but with some fragments left open. Left open for what? Whatever alien yeah. DNA Advent wishes to insert. Mutant. Oh my goodness. Even the species our soldiers refer to as Berserker. Yikes. In all cases, human genetic material serves as a bonding agent, holding the strands together. Human material? You mean the stuff we found at the Black Side facility? Precisely. The key component in their soldier manufacturing process. So we've been fighting ourselves this entire time. In a way. Crazy. But I believe there's more to it than that. The human DNA in this specimen bears one key difference from the entirety of the sequences decoded in the shadow chamber. Psionic sensitivity. Given the sheer volume of strands involved, this cannot be accidental. Screening process at the clinics. Avatar. The potential power of a being created with this template is significant, central. Had we not intercepted it before the process was completed... I know, Doctor. Continue your research. Let us know if you find anything else. So the plot thickens. The aliens are uh, not just up to no good, they're using us to further their means in some way. This is nasty stuff. Alright, so, recovered the Advent Stasis Suit. So we're done with this research now. Uh, what are the projects we have available in here right now? So we have the encrypted codex data that we need to finish in here, as well as I think we have an upgrade, right? Yeah, so we got to do the psionic gate upgrade. Insufficient power. Okay, so we do need to work on our power. Um, the next major project in here is eight days to do the encrypted codex data, or we have the option of doing some research. I await your orders, Commander. What is the research options we have right now? Oh, yes, Archon King Octopsy. I have always been particularly fascinated with this species, ever since the first time I spotted one during my travels. Although I had seen the biomechanical horrors deployed by the aliens during the initial invasion, these creatures appear to be something else entirely. Possessing a certain flair, not typically found amongst the aliens, I found this creature to be of great intelligence, masked by the incredible hold of the elders. Yeah. You uh you kind of went a little bit off the reservation there, Valen. All right. So, uh that's yeah, we're starting that research now. Um it's time to head back out and finish off the abandoned camp intel gathering. Yes. So she's got stasis now. This is awesome. Okay, continue training. What's up next for you? Insanity, solace, sustain. Uh, if a Psy operative takes enough damage uh, to be killed, they will immediately put in stasis for one turn. That's pretty awesome. Uh, Psy operative surrounded by aura. Yeah, solace, insanity, deliberating a te uh, telepathic attack. Um, it looks like these things kind of like when you do one, these two will stay and a new one appears. So I'm going to grab Insanity with her first because that makes her a bit more attack ready. And then we'll probably do Sustain next. Um, maybe we do it the other way around just because I don't want to lose our Psy Operatives. Let's do that one. So I don't want to lose any of our Operatives, but that makes it a lot harder to lose, um, to lose one of them. Rage suit! Yes, we're taking that out on the next mission. Ooh. Oh, I think we gotta build it, don't we? So let's go check how we have to build that. Is that just a build items or do we have to do that in the proving grounds? Or no, we built a rage suit. That's, I think we just finished a rage suit. All right, and the spark's coming, the wraith suit's coming after that. Um, how many cores do we have? We have two cores. We could maybe do some more of these. Uh, so that means that we have that in our inventory then, right? Good. Very good. Okay, so nothing's idle. Let's go back out. Finish this off. Strategic resource located. Oh, he doesn't look happy. Um, Intel, 60 reward. Okay, okay. Uh, now we want to finish doing this 
Install a radio relay. Course for South Africa. Begin that. Whoop. All right. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need Use. to move fast. Soul still soul is void rift. Yes. Our operatives are going to be freaking awesome. Okay. The outcome of this research Icon King. can only further our advances, Commander. I have come to firmly believe that Dr. Valen's unbridled ambition, left without the Commander to maintain some semblance of reason, led her to pursue a path of research that was as misguided and regrettable as my own service to Advent. Yeah. You could say that, for sure. Um, we get Icarus armor now available in the Proving Grounds. Excellente. Uh, alien, I'm wondering if we should just knock out some of these things. Uh, this gives us more intel, and we are going to be using quite a bit of that soon. So I'm going to knock this off before we uh, see that work begins immediately. Come head back out to the Shadow Chamber stuff. Report available. Sustain? Look at this progress. Okay, so Fuse and Insanity and Solace. Yeah, we're going to grab Insanity with her next. Very nice. Reading you loud and clear. Okay, 90 more supplies. Excellent. Bonus, spare parts. All Proving Gun projects reduced by 50%. Nice. Okay, so we finished that off. Um, now we want to make contact over here. Setting course for the Chilean Control District. And this will hopefully help us uh, get access to more of these things. Well, hopefully it will help us get access to more to of these things. Local regional and contact. our supply drop will go up as well. New targets acquired. Okay, we're ready for our next mission. Review target. Alright, so this is increased intel costs. Nice. That's And not nice is what I mean by that. And then a hidden event. And then... Um, reduces the retaliation counter by two weeks. I think we're kind of okay on that. Although the supplies would definitely be nice. Hack the workstation. This one was a recover item from Advent facility. Okay, so that's kind of like a hack one too, I think, right? Um, we get a scientist out of the deal and we counter the intel costs. If we take a look at the dark events, let's reveal this one. Um... Aliens are on high alert, making it harder for Exxon to catch them unaware. That's the increased radius of detection. I think that's probably the most concerning one. So let's uh, let's see what that mission gives us. Uh, protect the device. Are you kidding me? We get a new ranger out of the deal. Mm. Protect the device. I hate those ones. Um, it's difficult. Protect the device. Uh, so if we fail it, it's going to happen anyway. Uh, this one gets us a scientist and stops the intel increase. That could actually be really bad right now because we're in a, um, like we're in a growth mode right now. The scientist, I don't know if we need so much. The supplies and the counter the two weeks of the project. Oh, that's, that's a retaliation. Actually, that could be good. That means that the retaliation mission wouldn't happen uh, for very long. And supplies are still something that we kind of need. So if we decide to go for the supplies, that means that we're going to allow the increased uh, radii of, of all enemies for detection, which could be bad. And we're going to allow the intel cost increase. You know what? None of these are good. None of these are good. Um, but I think there's a good chance that the protective device will just fail because it'll burn itself to death and will fail anyway. So I'm thinking I'm going to go for the supplies. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll go for the supplies. What do we got on this mission? Um, elite officer, elite shield bearer, heavy mech, codex, muton, gatekeeper, sectoid, archon, and elite lancers. So yeah, very difficult mission. Setting course for sector eight, Mexico. All right, so let's remove everybody from the squad for the moment. All right, so here's the crew for our next mission, Operation Frost Knife. 
It is a very difficult mission. We need to hack the workstation. 196 supplies. We're going to take out our smart toaster, who has got himself loaded up with the Shredstorm cannon. That thing's pretty awesome. Next up, we have Robica the Younger, who is also... I'm kind of liking putting these uh, suits on them that they can actually carry explosive damage, because then I don't need to worry about carrying so many grenades that can actually take down cover and stuff. Uh, and also, it gives them, you know, like if they can't quite make the shot they have another alternative that they can use a heavy weapon uh, it does mean that I'm losing the grapple uh, but I haven't been using it as much as I thought I would so I'm going to give this particular strategy a go for a little while here and see how this works out for us but I am putting the um, the blue screen shots on these guys so uh, heavy rocket launcher and blue screen on uh, Robica the Younger this should work out quite well next up we have Melon who's got uh, one EMP bomb, that's going to be for the Gatekeeper, as well as two Acid Bombs, which I think will be good for just, you know, shredding and hurting a lot of units all at the same time, as well as EMP. Next up, we have Spider-Man, who's coming out. Hasn't been out in a little while, I don't think, but he's got EMP as well and a Plasma Lance. And next up, we have Minty Jones, who, of course, is going to be wearing this beautiful Rage Suit armor. We've only got one of these things, so be careful with it. Just because you look like a berserker doesn't mean you can go charging off into combat like they do. He's also got a heavy weapon, a rocket launcher on him as well, because the raid suit gives him that. Um, he's carrying a regular grenade. Why is he carrying a regular grenade? I would like to give him blue screen rounds, I think, as well. There we go. Um, and then next up we have Sal who is coming out as our medic and our hacker on this mission. Uh, she's of course got the the skulljack and then the med the medical abilities. So there you go. That is the crew. I am looking forward to it. I'm sure we will kick butt. So with that, let me know if you enjoyed this video by hitting the like button or leaving a comment. This really lets me know if you're enjoying the series and does wonders to expose the video to more awesome people just like you. If you're new to my channel and want to be notified when I release new videos, don't forget to subscribe. My active series at the moment, of course, includes XCOM 2 as well as Elite Dangerous, Pulse of the Lost Colony, and Space Sandinias. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Have an absolute great one, and I'll see you in the Sky Ranger!